Hello, hi. I'm Bruce Chibuka Mchivi is my name. I'm glad you are here. And we want to roll our conversation. You see, these are a series of videos that are connecting to each other. Because what I'm trying to help you do is to unpack the ideas that I compressed in this book. Now, the content of this book are ideas I have picked along the path of my life over the years. I wrote the first edition in 2003, second edition 2008, and this is third edition 2018. And in here are life-changing ideas. This is not just from me. You see, I've been lucky. I have feedback from readers from over 20 countries. This book, over the years. It's a book that has transformed many people's lives. And one of the things I kept getting from people who have interacted with me in my trainings, in my talks, and through reading my books is, hey, Ambrose, why don't you help unpack the ideas that you write about to see how to help people operationalize them in their daily lives? And this is exactly what my series of videos are about. In the last video, I talked about the university epidemic being misguided. And I concluded at that point where I was saying that it is important that a person figures out what is it that they really want out of life. And then they go ahead to look for where to find that. Is it found in university? What you need to learn? Because you see there are two different things. There is what you want to learn and there is what you need to learn. What you want to learn has been defined by your family, has been defined by your peers, has been defined by society. And that is what is amplified and people attach even the tag of success to it and say, oh, if you have gone to university, then you are a successful person. But there is also, on the other hand, what you need to learn. So what you need to learn is that which is customized to your context. If you do a deeper analysis of your aspirations in life, who do you want to be? What do you want to be? The status you want to occupy in society? The kind of work you want to do? How you want to earn your living? The kind of impact you want to make in society? All of these then systematically determine what you need to learn in order to become that. Unfortunately, and this is now what I want to talk about in this video, career guidance, career mentorship. And I want to use the analogy of business, of entrepreneurs. You see, when someone decides to go into business, they are going to invest their money because they want to make a profit. They want a return on their investment. And so we choose which kind of businesses to invest in by looking at the return that is going to come from the investment we make. And most times, we will choose the business that optimizes, that gives us the most returns. And in order for you to do that, even at a basic level, you will determine, in order for me to position my Chapati and Rolex stall here, is because I know I can observe there are people around here who will be my customers. 
you cannot position your stall where you do not envisage customers at all. In other words, nobody ever invests their money in business without having in mind the return on investment. In the same way, just as no investor puts their money in something that is not going to give them good returns, this is what we should be doing when we are considering courses to invest our money, our time, and our energy on. Unfortunately, it is only in education where we do not have this consideration. I mean, people enroll for courses because it is a high-sounding course, because they have been told to enroll for it, because they think that they will be respected for it, or because they just want to get a university degree or other qualifications, whatever they may be. Not because they actually know the performance of the skills and knowledge acquired from that course in the marketplace. Not because they know the, the return on investment. And not because they have considered the other options and concluded that this is the course that is going to optimize the return on my investment in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of energy. And that is where the challenge starts from. So, I'm amplifying the gap The gap in career guidance, which in this case, if you are to use the analogy of business, is the market analysis, understanding the market and figuring out which product, which commodity is going to be more marketable and therefore is going to yield good business. So. I want to suggest to you, if you already enrolled for a course, if you already graduated in a course, and you have not been able to figure out the business value of that course, in other words, the return on investment, put differently, if you have not been able to figure out what the value of that course means in the real world of work. It's not too late. There are a number of options you have. One, you can decide now to look back and ask yourself the question. You see, psychologists and philosophers tell us that the value of your life or Put differently, the quality of your life is directly proportional to the quality of questions you ask yourself every day. The quality of questions. So, now by just changing the nature of questions you ask yourself about this course, you will change a great deal of the value that you get from it. For example, if you already graduated, you already underway your course, you can ask yourself the question. So, what are the elements in this course that make sense out there in the real world? The world of business, the world of work. Put differently, What value can I add to society, to other people, by applying any aspect of this course? 
You know what that question will do? It will trigger you into a detailed, in-depth research, kind of similar to the one that someone who is looking to invest engages in before they actually put their money into any business venture. And when you do that, you'll discover something very powerful within the course that you have studied. In this book, again, Understanding 21st Century Careers in that chapter, among the 10 insights, I argue that the micro will make you. This is what I mean. If, for example, you undertake a, a course of three years, it's normal that out of the course of three years, you are likely to build your career around only one micro element within that course. That micro element, by the way, may be something that you studied for one week. Yes, it may be just one topic. And around that topic, you build a prosperous career. So that's why it's important for you. You see, when people say that people studied irrelevant courses, I don't agree with that. There are no useless courses. There are no bad courses. There is only bad interpretation of a course. There is only limited understanding or appreciation of the wealth embedded in any given course. In this book, I have belabored to explain that among the, the 10 insights under 21st century careers, there is that insight, there is no bad course. That's the insight, there is no bad course. And I explain, and I use the example of MDD, music, dance, and drama. And this is the argument I make about MDD. I have highlighted 31 different occupations that someone who has studied MDD, music and dance and drama, can engage in. And all of them will be high paying. 31. And that 31 only exhibits my ignorance because I'm sure there is a lot more that I am not aware of that I don't know. Now, let me keep a bit with this MDD thing. When I went to Makere University for my first degree in the early 90s, I saw figures there that were at university at the same time as I was. And these guys studied music, dance, and drama. And the general lingo, the general language at university then was, if you studied music, dance, and drama, you were ridiculed. We had uh, a Luganda uh, derogative expansion of MDD, and it went Musiru Dala Dala. M D D. That translated crudely means foolish and foolish indeed. It was used to connote that these people who enrolled for MDD were not intellectually were intellectually challenged, so they did not have the intellectual prowess to read hard and pass the serious subjects. That's what it connoted. 
But you know, as we are using that derogatory language towards these people, at that same time, the same skills that they were acquiring, the same knowledge that they were getting, is the same that was being applied in Hollywood, for example. And so you had, on the one hand, people studying MDD in Uganda being ridiculed. And then you had people who applied MDD like Sylvester Stallone, Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you cross to music, you can talk about the Whitney Houstons, the Mariah Carey's, and so on. And they were minting millions of dollars using the same skills and knowledge that is ridiculed in Uganda as foolish and foolish indeed. So, where was the problem? Was the cost a problem? No. Because later on we came to discover, and today we know, that the people who studied, I don't want to mention names here, but there are celebrities around town now. There are people who will show up in a place and, you know, the heads turn. And they have the dime. So what was the problem? The problem was the narrow exposure of we, the Ugandans. It was never the cause. The cause was not bad. Our interpretation of that cause was inadequate, was bad. In fact, we can say the interpretation was irrelevant. It's not the cause that was irrelevant. So how did we get there? I'm trying to build a point to make you appreciate that out of any course you have studied, if you do the diagnostics well, the return on investment analysis, if you have been able to identify the value or the gap that, that some contents of that course can help you to fix in society, then you've hit the jackpot. So that means, before, this is the ideal, that before anyone embarks on any course or applies for any course, that person should be helped to do the analysis. What is trending? What are the projections over the next 20 years? What is in me? What are my capabilities? What are my potentials? What should I develop in me that is going to resonate with the trends in society? And therefore, what should I study? That is how you'll come to a conclusion and say, wait a minute. Instead of enrolling for a three-year mass communication course, what I actually need is a three months short practical course on, for example, videography, cinematography, on storytelling. There are people who have made a killing out of only one powerful but deep skill, sophisticated storytelling. And whoever is making a documentary, we look for these people because they know how to create a compelling story out of any context. Someone will say, oh, but what, what can you do with English literature? You study English literature, that's useless. Hey, that person can become the script writer for powerful movies and documentaries and so on and so forth. And they will be headhunted. So the point is, and which is what I'm building in this particular video, the need for career guidance, just as a business person needs thorough market analysis. Career guidance, deep career guidance, systematic career guidance, 
proper career guidance, analytical career guidance, is what you need. None of us is such a genius that you just do guesswork. No. Every good player needs a good coach. In fact, to be a great player, you need a great coach. That's the point. And, again in the subsequent videos, we'll be exploring. I have developed a very deep model which I call the value chain approach to career strategy. Meaning that in this complex life that we live, there is no way. Life is so complex. Society is so complex. There are needs. People have needs everywhere. You cannot tell me that someone has studied up to university and you have a qualification. I don't care whichever thing you have a qualification in. And there is nothing of value you can find in that qualification for you to add value to other people. Therefore, to be able to receive value from other people, that's not possible. What I know and what is possible is that you just haven't figured out how to distill the value in the knowledge and the skills that you have. And our mission is here to help you discover that value, refine it, package it, position it in the marketplace, and tap from it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, click the right button and go ahead, subscribe, and I look forward to reading your comments because then we'll keep the conversation rolling. Hey, I didn't mention this. My mission is a simple one. To help every individual and every organization to discover their potential and become the best they can be. That's why I make these videos. That's why I look forward to your comments and questions. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.